We're here today to talk about the crash that occurred this morning involving a school bus. At approximately 8.16 a.m. this morning, a school bus was involved in a crash here on Troy Road, which is also State Route 41. A 2016 international school bus with a, with school bus with the Northwestern local school district was traveling westbound on State Route 41 near Lawrenceburg Road. A 2010 Honda Odyssey was traveling eastbound on State Route 41 and went left to center into the lane of the school bus. That school bus attempted to take evasive action and drive onto the shoulder, but they still made contact. After contact, the school bus traveled off the right side of the roadway and overturned. The 2010 Honda Odyssey traveled off the right side of the roadway as well and came to final rest. There was 52 total kids on the school bus, 53 including the school bus driver. Of those, 13 were transported by EMS to local area hospitals for treatment. 10 were transported by personal means or family members to local area hospitals for treatment. So 23 total kids were transported. Of those, 22 appear to have non-life-threatening injuries and one is considered to be serious injuries and was transported to Children's Hospital. There was one student that succumbed to fatal injuries at the scene of the crash. They were ejected from the school bus. The, two, the driver and the passenger of the 2010 Honda Odyssey were transported to Springfield Regional Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries. The crash remains under investigation at this time. It's a very active scene, and that's the information that's available right now. Were they, were, did they have their seatbelts on? There is no seatbelts on the school bus. The driver did have his, have his seatbelt on. Uh, do you know, are you able to tell us ages at all of any of the kids that were injured or on the bus or that the, the child that, that's deceased? That information is not available at this time. And as we were hearing that the, the driver uh, didn't speak English, are you able to talk at all about the need for a translator or what can you tell us about the driver of that Honda Odyssey? So the driver and the passenger were transported to Springfield Regional Medical Center. A uh, translator was present, but again, any information beyond that's going to be part of our investigation. Just, just, I mean, this is obviously a tr tragedy. You have, you know, more than two dozen elementary school students on a school bus. Can you just talk from the law enforcement perspective? I mean, we've seen officers quite emotional today as they responded to this. Just how tough is it to respond to, to situations like this? It is, and that's a part of our law enforcement. That's a part of what do we do on a daily basis. Again, we're here to talk about the crash, but it's, it's a tragic incident, and we ask for space and patience and time. Is our community members, emergency personnel on scene, families affected, the school district and all its members, to give them time to start the healing process. And do you know if uh, the driver of the passenger car, the Odyssey, what condition he's in at this time? So they were both transported to Springfield Regional Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries, so they're considered stable. Obviously under investigation, but any preliminary, was he under the influence of anything that would cause him to swerve like this? So that's part of the active investigation. We'll provide that information if it becomes available. Have you been in contact with the superintendent for the Northwestern North School District? So the principal was on scene. Um, but we've been in contact with uh, all the local community members, stakeholders, and everybody affected by this. Uh, what do you, uh, have you been in contact with all the parents as well? So the contact, uh, the, the parents were on scene, but again, that's part of the investigation. No information beyond that's going to be available. How far had this bus traveled after picking up children? So it, it was on its way to school. There's 52 kids on the bus, so it was loaded. So I, I can't tell you how far it did travel, but we'll, all that information will be available in the crash. And I, I know that we've seen uh, therapists and other mental health resources available for parents and students at that reunification center. But on the law enforcement side, what, are, what resources are available to those first responders that responded to this, this tragedy? So we, we have um, individuals on scene from our MAT team, and they're on scene not only for the, obviously the community stakeholders, members from the school, the parents, but also first uh, responders as well and emergency personnel that responded. So we're here to talk about the crash that occurred today. We're not going to talk about any legislation or anything like that. Does school go on or is it That would be a, a conversation we want to contact the Northwestern Local School District for that. Any more questions? When can we expect the next update? Should we expect here? Will you all send a release out? So we have a release already prepared. It's almost finished. We'll send that out. Now we'll have the driver's information, all that pertinent information, the particulars that will be on that release. Will there be another press conference? There won't be at this time. The, the, all the information, the particulars are available at this time beyond the investigation will be on that release. All right, thank you.